Hey there everybody, it's Chaos back again, so I'm bringing you another video today, and we're doing a little different video today because um, unlike the other ones where I'm just trying to maximize a certain build, um, we're focusing on something that's going to happen in 2.3, which is a conquest that uh, allows you to gain the achievement by not um, using class sets and then actually beating a Greater Rift 40. But uh, I like the idea, however, they still allow you to do like two-piece and crafted sets as long as it's not a class set, so I took it one step further, so... Um, what we're doing basically is gonna go through and not use any sets at all. So all legendaries. Not only that, but I'm gonna try to achieve a 45 greater rift, which is the equivalent of a T10, and um, doing so without any set items. So I'm just gonna scroll through everything really quick, go through my usual thing, run the rift. Uh, might be pretty boring. Might be like 15 minutes worth of me um, just running through a boring rift. And the items right now are not optimized. They are just basically I, something I put together to make this work. So. Um, just bear with me and just see if this works. This is going to be like I think my fourth attempt. Really close the last few. Really um, dependent on the type of mobs you get in the density. Density when it's bad of course you never get anything done so once again bear with me here. We'll try to knock this out. The gist of the build is basically just go through hammering and then orcs and then uh, orcs is gonna allow you to cool down while everything else is keeping you alive, basically. I've been as close as I think 30 seconds on one of the tries that I ran. So I got a pretty good feeling that this will work. 40 would be a cakewalk, I know that for a fact. Uh, this 45 got so close that 40 would be a cakewalk. Gotta cycle through your uh, rotation pretty accurately to get a good shot at shooting anything here. Really. Especially with uh, ignore pain, it's your means of survival at this difficulty, so definitely not that happy. Point three shaping up to be pretty good PTR. Um, I haven't played it much since the original patch. This is like what patch three now. And um, what I like about it is that they really made IK set a little bit better. Um, still not as good as what you get out of Whirlwind, but I mean that's kind of my play style now. It's uh, I never been a fan of doing the Whirlwind build. Just got sick of it in vanilla. 
and allowing IK to be good allows you to kind of pick the skill that you want to be good because the damage will require some assistance bonus. And by doing that, it allows you to just use a very, I don't know, viscerally easy skill like hammer dimensions and uh, your seismic slam and such. Seismic slam is really buff. Um, the reason why I can't do seismic slam right now is that it's really dependent on um, your call of the ancients to get you fury. And without them to get you fury, without the IK set, they're really hard to use, or it's really hard to use. Gavel is what really makes this set work though, so right now this whole build is based around the gavel, allowing you to charge your uh, fury while you're hitting something less than, you know, like say a group of mob like this. I got a little bit of a, a cost reduction in Cinder Coat, I don't think you need it, but at the same time it's one of those things where that's the best chest I think for this build in the fire room. Although you can, I think, go lightning as well. Lightning might prove to be pretty useful with a stun after kill. And that might allow you more uptime, but I mean, I think the damage is necessary if you want to clear higher greater rifts. Though, I don't I don't know if anybody's going to push this style of play just because you get the conquest, you're done, blah blah blah. But I, I find it fun. It's like a challenge. Of course, with enough paragon levels, I, I think that's going to be the main determining factor, which is kind of a race. Just because uh, Paragon is so powerful, the way that it is set up now. Especially since there's so many multipliers and everything just multiplies into itself. Yeah, Arcane's pretty annoying. I usually recommend not fighting them, but whatever. I'm not playing optimized and I'm so close to bar at the time. I can't. No way. That is one long dead end. Passive Relentless is really kicking in there to keep me alive because that's kind of the only way that I could survive this. The damage that they do on that Icy Blast is way, way high. I can't. 
probably not worth the time investing in whatever. Be advantageous for me. Whenever those things spawn, I can use battle to do extra damage. That's a uh, 45. It's not Good bad at see. all. Um, I'm not gonna bother with it. So skills wise, this is kind of what I'm running right now. I'm still kind of debating if this is the best setup, although I think this is pretty safe at the moment. Um, like I said, Relentless is pretty good for Hammer the Ancients. I really like the damage reduction. If you have a heal uh, method, like right now I'm just using like 900 on the belt um, to kind of sustain on life for a fairy spent. That's kind of what you need, and in this gem, on you can get it in higher levels as well. That's working out really good. Um, full diamond set helps a lot to give you the extra buff. I mean, even without war cry, I've been doing pretty good. Um, that's purely for the fact that you know you always have um, this guy here um, to give you the damage boost. You, you don't really need to build too much in damage with Hammer of the Ancients, it's so high a crit chance that you generally would do pretty well. If I wasn't using orts and instead I was using, um, say, the, the COE ring with a nicely rolled one, you could do a better roll than if you get with the uh, orts. Orts should actually be the cubed ring, um, in my opinion, just because of the fact, well, it depends. I mean, you really need a high COE uh, percentage because right now if you cube this, you get the max 200, which helps. Um, I don't think it's make or break, but I mean, you know, even for 45, this did pretty well. Not necessary for this, but it's there. Um, I probably would have just swapped out the charge, but I just took this off of my uh, charge barb, so 
Um, this guy here gone with a uh, vid, so eh, it's pretty standard stuff. Like I said, there's only like what one piece of ancient item in this entire set. So yeah, 45. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys next time. Take care.